Hey guys, so the funniest thing just happened to me. Um, like, I don't even know, like, what to do. Like, I don't know where to start. I don't know how to explain this. It's so funny to me. I think I'm gonna tell, like, a story. Like, I'm just gonna start from the beginning. Um, it's just so funny, like. So, earlier today, I was in this unit, and this person was giving away new fits for default price, whatever, whatever. And then all of a sudden, I get this private chat from this random person that I don't know. And I was like, what is this? He basically says that he has a friend who is giving away free woos packs and to PC him back if you're interested. And I was like, oh, okay, uh, who is this friend? And after like a minute or two, I was not getting a response. So then I was like, mm, okay, maybe he didn't see my private chat. So I messaged him again, and I said I was interested, and then he responded. He said his friend was known all over Instagram for giving away free woos packs. And I've known, I knew this was sketchy from the start because the thought of someone just going around giving free woos packs to people just because was a little odd. And especially if they were having a friend go around in random units and just messaging people that, it was just a little weird to me. But yeah, he said his friend was known all over Instagram for giving away free woos packs. And I was like, hmm, I've never heard of someone giving away free woos packs and being known and stuff like that on Instagram. And I actively use uh, Instagram for woos world and I'm, I've never heard of anything like that. So that was a little bit weird. So he gives me her Instagram and I go on her profile and I'm looking you know, she has trusted proofs and like a highlight about scammers and stuff. She didn't really have that many trusted proofs. I think she had like four or five. Um, to me at least, that is not well known. Um, so that was also a little strange. I was looking at her trusted proofs and I was noticing that something about them was a little off. Um, I had a weird feeling. Her trusted proofs consisted of her DMs with people on Instagram, and it was basically just them saying, oh, you actually got me the Woos Pack, thank you so much. Like, there was no screenshots of her actually buying them the Woos Pack or anything. And another weird thing is, she would cross out their usernames. I don't know why you would need to do that, so that's a little weird. She also had two that were from Facebook, and these two from Facebook really I don't know, they really, I really took an interest in them because there were two of them and I noticed that the name was crossed out and then she put her Instagram over the name and tagged herself. So I was like, um, this person could literally be anyone. Like, it's so easy to take a screenshot of someone saying that someone else is trusted and to put your name over theirs, like if that makes sense. And like, it wasn't even like she edited it. Like, she literally just took the screenshot the original of the original post and she put her Instagram username over the, um, the trusted person's and she tagged it. And this was really weird. I was like, okay, this is a little, you know, something's up. So I messaged her and I was pretending that I was interested and that I wanted her to buy me a Woos pack for free. She asked if she could use our chats as trusted proof. And I was like, okay, maybe there is a small chance that she isn't scamming. But at the same time, she could just be asking me that to make it seem like she isn't a scammer. She sent me the woos packs so that I could choose from, and I chose one. And you all know me, I'm not just gonna give someone the information to my main account. Obviously, I gave her the info to a backup. It was, it was a noob account, it was completely new, it had absolutely nothing on it. It didn't even have a username yet. I gave her the information to it. And she said, um, it keeps saying failed. And she sent me a screenshot of the thing saying that her payment failed. Also, another thing, um, in this screenshot, the time was like seven hours ahead. But I don't know if she lives in a different time zone or if it's like an old screenshot that she just used. Also, I don't really like do this stuff. So I don't know if this is what it would actually look like if her payment like failed. If you know if this is what it really looks like, please let me know. But yeah, she said that it failed, and then she was like, yeah, this happened to me before with someone else, uh, um, but then we fixed the problem by trying a different account. 
And I was like, okay, maybe she's trying to get me to give her my main account. So I was like, okay, then I'll give you another account. So I gave her another noob account. It was had nothing on it. And then she took a really long time to respond. And she was like, sorry, I was gifting someone a lose pack. Um, so then she was like, okay, I'm going to log on to it now. Keep in mind, this is the second time, this is the second attempt of her trying to get me a lose pack. So she logged on to the noob account that I had and I was keeping an eye on it. And I noticed that she had actually gone into the game on the noob account. And I'm suspecting that she was like looking in the inventory to see if there was anything good, which there wasn't. I thought that was a little weird. So I was like, yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely not legitimate. But yeah, she said it didn't work again. So I gave her another account, which again was a noob account. I had nothing on it. No good items, actually no items at all. After she said she was logging on, I was again keeping an eye on it. And I noticed that it was also online again. And it was in a units again. So I followed it. And for some reason, she was on my account and she was in someone's shop. Like she was in a units and it was called cheaper than marketplace shop or something like that. I was like, what is this girl doing? Why is she on my account in someone's shop? Like, obviously, I know she's looking to see if I have anything good in the inventory, which I don't, but why is she in someone's units? So I was like, okay, what in the world is she doing? And I messaged her. I was like, uh, are you getting it? And of course, again, she was like, it's not working. And I was like, mm, okay, that's weird. And she was like, I'm guessing you don't have any other accounts, like hinting at my main account, which obviously I'm not going to give to her. And she was all, I'm really sorry, though. You seemed really nice, and I really wanted to get you one. I'm trying to be all, I don't even know, trying to get me to trust her and think she's super nice. And I was like, actually, I do have another account. And she was like, ooh, do you think it's going to work? And I was like, I don't know. And I was like, okay, I'll do one more. Like, this is the last one. I'm not doing any more. So I gave her the information of the last account, the fourth account. After I gave her the information, she stopped responding to my DMs. She stopped looking at our DMs. And I was like, you know, dude, like, what even? Like, I'm guessing she logged on to the account after I sent it. And then she saw that it was another noob account. And she quickly realized that I was not giving her my main account no matter what. And she didn't want to deal with that. So she just stopped responding to our DMs. And I was like, you know, whatever. You want to be a scammer? Go be a scammer. Go hack people. That's only going to come back to you. That's going to get you. And then I started thinking about that trusted proof she had. And I got a little curious. And I wanted to know if it was actually real. I couldn't really do anything about the trust and proofs that were on Instagram. Like the ones of her posting the screenshots of the people where she was crossing out the usernames. But the ones that were on Facebook, I could find. This is because she showed the person who posted its, their name on Facebook. And she also showed what Facebook group they posted it in. And both of these screenshots were posted in the Facebook group called Woo's World Chat. So what I did was I went on Facebook and I went in Woo's World Chat, the group. And you can see here in this first one, it was posted by someone named Tiffany. So I went in the group chat and I looked up Tiffany. So then I could see every single post that Tiffany has made in this group. Guess what? You will not believe it. I scrolled down and I found the original post that Lucy, the scammer, basically edited or copied off of. She stole it. You can see here in the original post, it clearly says Tristan Woo's World. So yes, she did screenshot this post right here and she put her Instagram username over it and she tagged herself. Look, it's word for word. It's the exact same post. And another thing that I noticed when I was looking at her trusted proofs, the uh, Facebook ones, is that um, it looked like they were taken a week or two before she actually posted them. Like you can see here, it says that she posted this on her trusted proof highlight two weeks ago. But if you look at the Facebook post, it says it was posted six days ago, meaning it would have been posted a week before she posted it on her story. But yeah, that's solid evidence right there that her trusted proof was fake. She stole it. As for the other one that was on Facebook, I did try to look for it, but it was taken down. I think they deleted it. But it's okay because we still have solid evidence that she did steal trusted proof and her trusted proof was fake. After I saw that, I sent her a DM and I said, Okay, so I have come to the conclusion that your trusted proof is fake. I have gathered all the screenshots I need and you will be seeing yourself on my YouTube. And of course, she hasn't responded or looked at it. She's probably going to block me pretty soon, but yeah. I recorded that video last night. Um, yeah. And I have some updates. She did respond to me. Um, you can see this. Um... 
she did end up responding to me at 6 in the morning, and she said this, so basically admitting to it, you know. And then, I found her Woozerald account, so that's kind of tough. And this is the account that she used to private chat me. Um, it might not be her account, it might be a friend, but either way, still report it, because even if it is her friend, he is, you know, he's in on it, and he is helping her and encouraging her to try and hack and scam people. Something really funny is that she has an entire highlight on her story about scammers, and I think she needs to put herself on there. One more thing, sorry, I actually found this account on her boy account's hot friends. I'm suspecting it's her main account, like her main main account. Um, I think the Lucy account is just a thing she made up for the whole scamming and hacking thing, like a little persona that she made up, but I'm suspecting that this account right here is her main main account. I did message it, and I was like, hey, uh, just to let you know, your friend Lucy is a scammer, she tried to hack me, I'm just telling you this, unless you already know about it, or you are her. And she was like, I don't know Lucy, but okay. Yeah, I had the messages right here. She was like, I don't know who Lucy is, but okay. And it was kind of, like, rude, so that really kind of makes me think that this is her main account. And then I was like, oh, well, someone on your hot friends is a scammer and they tried to hack me. And she was like, oh, for real? Which person? And I said that, um, it was the guy. And then all she said was, oh, okay, thanks. And then I asked her how she knew him and she didn't respond. So it's a little weird. I do think that this might be her main account. If anything happens at all, I will update you guys in the comments and I will pin my comment. But yeah, that's the story of how someone tried to hack me with fake trusted proof that they stole. That's all I have for today. I love you guys so much, and goodbye.